Good afternoon, Mets fans, and welcome to a somber edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and not that long ago, the Mets got done losing their second straight game to the lowly and last place Cincinnati Reds. Dropping another series, uh, dropping to one game over 500, dropping like flies. That's uh, how... <laughs> how things feel right now. So, promised to talk about uh, last night's game and today's game this afternoon, and here I am doing just that. I, uh, you know, I try to be pretty even keel when it comes to being a Mets fan and when it comes to following the team and watching the team and rooting the team on and whatnot. Um, I try not to overreact to, um, to, 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 things that happen in the season knowing that it's a long season and um that being said losing two games out of three to the Cincinnati Reds who um had only won one series prior um who coming into the series had only eight wins um we're eight and 27 I believe or 26 something like that um it's just unacceptable I mean it's just flat out unacceptable to to have a game pitched today by Zach Wheeler, who deserved a win, and have no offense whatsoever to support him, is maddening beyond words. And it's the same sort of shit that happened to the Mets, that has happened to the Mets for the last decade, it seems, you know, it feels. It feels like every time the, the offense comes to life, the pitching takes a shit. And every time the pitching picks things up, there's no offense to be found. And that certainly was the case today for Zach Wheeler, who, again, pitched a very good game. Um, no decision for Zach. Uh, a loss for A.J. Ramos, who continues to, for me, um, underwhelm out of the bullpen. I've, I'm, sh I'm sure Ramos is a, good, is a good dude. I think I've said this before. I mean, he seems like a nice guy and whatever. But... Um, to have been spoiled by Addison Reed for two years, who was, without question, the best setup man in baseball. To go from Reed to Ramos is a huge drop-off. Huge drop-off. Ramos is not an effect... To me, Ramos is not a reliable reliever. He's He throws too many junk balls. He doesn't attack hitters. He, throw, he, he allows too many walks. He allows too much contact. I, I, I don't. I, I'm not a fan of AJ Ramos. Um, but hey, you know what? Got to tip your cap to the Reds. They outplayed the Mets. I would be remiss if I didn't mention the batting out of order incident in the first inning, which, by the way, I missed. Uh, I was driving back to the office from lunch today. And I missed the batting out of order. And, you know, Terry Collins, as manager of the Mets, got an awful lot of criticism. Some of it deserved, but a lot of it not deserved. For not being um, a good in-game manager and not being on top of details. And I, um, I heard nothing but, I've heard nothing but positive things about Mickey Calloway and the way he runs his team. But I will tell you what... If Terry Collins had been at the helm and this sort of nonsense happened um, with a with a batting out of order in the first inning of the game, um, Mets Twitter would be calling for Terry Collins' head. I mean, it wouldn't even be it would be uh, um, it would be ridiculous the way Mets Twitter would have would have reacted to something like this if Terry Collins had done it. But he didn't. Mick and Callaway did it. Now I didn't get a chance to read too much on Twitter, but um, I. <laughs> I don't know that Mickey gets a pass for this. I don't know whose fault it is, but I know in the post game he said that probably cost us the game, and he's right. And this is the sort of thing that cannot happen to a major league team that is serious about contending. The Mets have sold us, based on their start, you know, three weeks though it may have been, they've sold us as fans on this being a season where they're they're intending to go for it and they're intending to make the postseason. 
And for a team that has those high th those high expectations and that high of a bar set for itself to perform the way that it has performed over the last three weeks and to commit the sort of egregious mistake that they, they committed today, that is not a playoff caliber team, okay? The Mets are playing at this moment like a team that is to uh, to quote um, Derek or to offend Derek Jeter rather tanking. That's what that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like right now. It looks like the Mets are trying to tank. I mean, we know they're not, but dude, they're just they just can't get they just can't get themselves on the same page. Um, last night was what I kind of expected it was going to be. And um, although I've sort of defended Jason Vargas uh, on, uh, after his first two starts, sort of saying, you know, he didn't have a spring training and we got to cut him some slack, um, my rope is getting a lot shorter and I feel like Vargas gets one more start to uh, fix himself. And, I mean, look, he gave up four runs. That, that's an improvement. <laughs> it's unacceptable, but it's an improvement. Um, he lowered his ERA. Not that it's hard to do when your ERA coming into the game is 6.2. Uh, sorry, 16.2. Um, but I still believe that Jason Vargas is going to end up being fine. I think he's going to end up settling into that 3-4 role in the rotation. Um, and he'll be able to give the Mets some, some length um, in, the, uh, in, in the rotation. I think he'll be fine. Uh, at least I hope he'll be fine. Finally... Um, got to talk a little bit about Matt Harvey. I think this will actually be the last time I talk about Matt Harvey. Um, I did not expect a major league team to be willing to trade anything for Matt Harvey. And lo and behold, the Cincinnati Reds not only trade for Matt Harvey, but they actually trade a catcher. They trade a catcher. That's right, the Mets got a catcher. Devin Mezzarocco, who at one point in time was a pretty big prospect, uh, had a pretty good uh, pretty good 2014 season before he succumbed to injuries. Um, Matt Harvey is now going to find himself in Cincinnati, more than likely in the minor leagues. And um, let's not kid ourselves here. The minor leagues in Cincinnati have to be an awful lot like the, um, the, sorry, not the minor leagues, the major leagues in Cincinnati have to be attended an awful, light, an awful lot like the minor league games for the Mets, you know, think, think Binghamton, they probably draw about as well as the Reds do at Great American Ballpark right now, notwithstanding the fact also that Great American Ballpark is quite probably the biggest hitters ballpark in baseball, and certainly one of them, um, so Matt Harvey finds himself moving from the epicenter of the world with the nightlife and with the the the, the media attention and everything um, finds himself moving from New York to um, the, literally the polar opposite uh, in terms of the spectrum of uh, of excitement. And that's not a knock on Cincinnati; it's just New York versus Cincinnati. There's no comparison. Two different cities, and uh, Matt Harvey is now a Cincinnati Red. It's weird. Uh, I saw the picture that um, Shannon Miss Met shared on Twitter, and I just, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it that that's, that that's where he is. But that's where he is, so we got to come to grips with that. Speaking of coming to grips, I'm about ready to come to grips with this season, and I don't know how much longer I can be positive. So the Mets leave Cincinnati uh, probably in the next couple of minutes, and we'll be flying to Philadelphia where they will kick off a weekend series after an off day tomorrow with the Phillies. Uh, the Mets will be without Jay Bruce for the weekend series, but honestly, I, it doesn't does even matter. <laughs> um, not like Bruce is hitting. Um, now we'll get to see um, Nimmo in the games, if nothing else, or, or Lagares or both. So um, hopefully the Mets can figure this out and get themselves back righted and uh, go into Philly and turn this season around because right now it's not looking great. Uh, so that's going to wrap it up for today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met. And as always, let's go Mets.